Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, love reading. This is going to be for Aries for your uh, December 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Um, so we're going to take a look at the person that is on your mind or someone that you're dealing with. We're going to see what they're not telling you and then we'll finish off the read to see if they will come clean or if you'll find out on your own. So apply this to your own unique situation. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Aries people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and want to go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too, okay? So, uh, Aries. Tell me about Aries. The person that Aries is dealing with, thinking of, what is this person not telling Aries? What is this person hiding from Aries for December 2023? For Aries. For Aries. Let's see. I'm going to take that one. Oh, two of Cups. Yeah, whoever this is, I do feel like this person has love for you or that there's mutual love between you guys. I mean, this is a soulmate connection here with the Two of Cups. Okay. Um, we have the Three of Wands. So whoever this is, you know, this is an individual that's seeing a future with you. Okay. Uh, this person's finding safety with you. You know, I feel like this person definitely feels like they could do, you know, or that they have what it takes to make something work here with you, okay? Uh, we have the Four of Swords and the Magician here, Gemini Virgo, and the Eight of Pentacles here, and the Nine of Swords. There's definitely some effort here. I do feel like some the person that you're dealing with here or thinking of, you know, this is an individual that could be dealing with a lot of stress and anxiety at this time here. You know, maybe because they feel like, you know, maybe they're being overworked or something like that. But whoever this is, or if this person might seem a bit distant, you know, they just want to let you know that they have love for you or that they love you, but, you know, they're kind of, like, busy at the moment here, okay? Uh, we have the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces. We have the Moon, Cancer, Pisces again. The Ace of Cups. Uh, I, I mean, I, I just feel like, I, I, I just really feel like this person is like in love with you here, Aries, okay? So we have the, we have the full Aries energy, Aquarius energy, and the sun, Leo energy. I mean, this could be an indication that this person's like, you know, Aries makes me really, 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 really happy. I mean, there's happiness, there's fulfillment, there's emotional fulfillment here. You know, this person could be finding you someone here who's very, um, who's very nurturing, who's very caring, who's very giving, who's very safe here, okay, someone here who uh, is a good listener, very emotional and empathetic here, okay, but uh, I do feel like this person, I mean, I feel like this person might have told you already, or that they will, I mean, we do have the high priestess here and the moon, you know, this is about, like, keeping a secret, you know, um, but let's just see, <laughs> what else do we have here for Aries, what else does Aries need to know, will this person come clean towards Aries, or will Aries find out on their own, <coughs> For December 2023 for Aries. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, this person will. Yeah, there's a sense of telling you how they feel and wanting to move forward with you. I mean, this could be an indication of wanting to move in together. You know, this is an indication of wanting uh, <coughs> to have marriage in the future, you know, having kids together justice uh libra energy i mean this could be a same-sex couple it doesn't have to be but just apply this to your own unique situation here <coughs> we have the page of wands and the page of cups cancer scorpio pisces page of wands aries leo sag even the queen of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo and the star card here i mean we have someone here that's definitely seeing you as one here you know, whoever this is, I feel like this person is definitely being subtle about their feelings here for you. You know, I feel like this person is showing you that they care, but they're not saying it. But I feel like this person eventually will, okay? So, uh, we have the uh, star card. Why is the star card here? In the Wheel of Fortune. The uh, Queen of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. I feel like this is, 
you know, I feel like this person feels like this is destiny or that they feel like you are everything that they've ever dreamed of here, okay? With the king to the queen of pentacles, this is a true pair. This is a true pair. This is a soulmate connection. I do feel like this is a very balanced connection. This is a very safe connection. You know, I do feel like this is also a very chill connection too. Like, I feel like you guys are very, very, very easy going. Things are very easy between you guys. You know, I feel like you guys flow really well together. Uh, temperance, Sagittarius energy. Let's see. I do feel like this is a very honest and transparent connection here too. Uh, both very grounded energies here with the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles here. So, you know, I do feel like both of you guys are ready to take things to the next level here. You know, once the opportunity, uh, you know, presents itself. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? We have the Devil. Capricorn energy. Tell me the Justice card. And the Six of Wands. Hmm. Why is this Devil here? Some of you is feeling really confident here about, you know, things moving to, like, the next stage between you guys here. Or, you know, this, uh, you know, this person feeling really confident about what they want to say to you. Um, we have the Devil and the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups here and the Page of Pentacles. Um, you know, one of the things I'm getting here is that this person definitely has, you know, is dealing with, a, a, like, a work situation here. Like, either this person really, like, works a lot and this person is not really, you know, emotionally present or, and they're always, like, their mind is always wondering. It has something to do with work. It seems like this person's elbow deep in work, knee deep in work. I mean, you could be elbow, elbow deep and knee deep in work yourself, too. Six of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Pentacles, yeah. You know, no matter what, I feel like... Even if, though this person's busy, I feel like this person's still always thinking about you. I mean, this person's in love with you. This person's seeing you as a one here, Aries, okay? So, you know, I do feel like whoever this is, I do feel like this person is in love with you. Now, I really don't feel like you guys are separated. I do feel like you guys are still together, but, you know, uh, but I feel like this might be a newer connection here. Maybe you guys have seen or met each other in the last three to six months and, Perhaps someone here is developing feelings, okay? So Aries, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.